Hey guys, welcome back. It's XR Hammer here, and we will be playing Orcs Must Die Unchained again. As I'm really enjoying this game, and as you can see, we will have soon the Chaos Trials come in. I can't tell you anything more about it at the minute as I can't go on to it. But yeah, I shall find out more and in my next video. I shall let everybody know about that. But anyway, today we will be playing a survival on the banquet hall and I've already made my mind up this time we're going to be playing as Dobbin and yeah he's um let's go back to him he's quite a strong character he's um oh well I didn't mean to do that I can't actually bring his skills up I'm gonna have to try and find out how to do that but yeah he can throw dynamite and dig holes and stuff like that. And the loadout we're going to be using is we've got our vegetable of mending. It grants a short period of increased health regen. Effect is cancelled upon taking damage. So it's really a run away and use it item. We've got the flame brazer which launches a fireball that deals significant damage over time to the first target hit. Fire damage from the same hero or trap type does not stack. Which, you know, it is what it is. We've got the Lion Guardian and the Blacksmith Guardian. And your normal traps. We've got Floor Spikes, Arrow Wall. We've got our Barricades. I might swap that out and put in the normal Barricade. As I know, there's a couple of bits on this map where the big Barricade doesn't quite fit. Uh, what else? We're taking the lightning rod, the tar trap, which is always useful, the spitfire wall, which I might swap out for... I'm not 100% sure what we might swap it out for. Should I swap it out for the big game hunting? No, we'll keep it in. We'll keep it in for now. And then we've got our traits... 12% damage to null hunter minions. Not so bad. Slot matching bonus. 5% primary attack damage. We've got one with the traps. Extra padding. And brother mauled by grizzlies. Lovely. And yeah, without further ado, we shall jump straight into it. And hopefully, we'll be able to get a 5 star on this. It'd be nice, it's always nice thinking that way. So yeah, we'll be playing in the banquet hall. I believe there's only two ways they can come. And hopefully if I can gain enough funds and block it off, sufficiently it shouldn't actually be a problem in defending this i say that now i'm probably going to be wrong but you never know all right let's start when my computer stops being weird and laggy if we put those two there it's always nice that'll stop them on the second wave i believe it is and we can block up here and funnel them all, f funnel them all down to this side. Um, I might block off. Let's rotate that round. What would be better? Yeah, let's use this. We'll block off. We'll block it all off because the first couple of waves are fairly easy to deal with if I'm honest with you. What we can do is we can get two floor traps down here and we are good to go for the first round. As you can see on the map they will spawn in over that way which I'm not too fussed about. It's very easy enough once you get the funnel points right and yeah let's see how good we can do with Dobbin. Let's throw some dynamite because wee, everybody loves a nice bit of dynamite throwing. And the cooldown on his dynamite is not very long at all, which is awesome. 
and also Dobbin does not get targeted by um, big enemies so that's always helpful oh we've got loads of little combo to come in that is never a good thing let's throw some dynamite down let's jump over this way we can cut them off we've got one more coming there we go we took him out I should really have put my guardian here to start off with let's get them killed there we go well that went all right I really did not expect the uh, kobold to come running through on round one but it is what it is I suppose right now we need to get up here blocked off just like that and then they should all run down here my guardian should join in in trying to take them out and we should be a-okay let's send that going I know Dobbin can dig holes but I don't really know how it works so the next time we get a um, safe zone safe spot where no enemies are gonna spawn in I shall um give it a try I think all right, let's throw some dynamite. Hey, you gotta love that dynamite. I know you can do his L2 skill. I think it sucks them all into that area. I'm not 100% sure. I should really start checking on um, their skills before I try playing them. Oh, beautiful opportunity there. Yeah, I'd say the biggest tip to playing as Dobbin is whenever you can throw that dynamite because it is very helpful just to be taking out massive hordes of enemies with minimal effort and that's always what we want now I'm not 100% sure how his upgrades are so I can reduce the manner of it increase the value of his money bags which could come in handy as he drops quite I wouldn't say they're regular but they drop a few but you have to pick them up rather sharpish as they disappear and I could increase the damage to minions by 12% I think I'm gonna go with stockpile reduce the mana cost of spare dynamite by 10% and now we really need to be upgrading our defenses in here I'm going to add some, not there I am not, add some tar traps in just to weaken their manoeuvrability and then if I get some arrow traps up on these walls should help my guardian out a bit but hopefully they won't get that far apart from the kobolds as they just move way too quickly I feel like they need a debuff to that movement speed because it's just absolutely crazy in my opinion and we didn't test out his hole digging but we shall do that we shall definitely do it let's uh hopefully if this does what I think it does oh no it just slows them so it doesn't pull them in let's just ignore my previous comment Ooh, let's get back because we all like we all love a bit of unchaining. Are they kobolds? Nope. Oh, yes. I'll have some of that. Thank you. Let's slow them down even more. We've got. Uh, if, yeah, if you can remember me telling you earlier, Dobbin does not get targeted by big enemies, which can be a good thing. It can also be a very bad thing, as sometimes it's nice to just to draw the aggro away from where they're trying to go but if you've watched my previous video with Hogarth sometimes the aggro isn't nice because it soon gets overwhelming I mean I really am I should hopefully be playing some more sabotage it'd be nice if I could and I knew that was placed in the complete wrong position yeah if I could get a group of people playing with me so if you're um, on PlayStation and you wanna play just um, 
send me a friend request it's XR Hammer and yeah we'll see where we go from there um, right let's test out his whole digging ability as I'm not 100% sure how it works or how you get it to work I'm not sure if I dig that one there do I have to dig another one over here so it's like a quick teleportation system let's try it I don't know it's not doing anything or oh, ah, use mine shaft yay look at that we could dig everywhere right let's carry on when I'm finished playing with the holes I'm not sure that is it could be very useful Uh, yeah let's try and thin out the horde down here and he can throw that dynamite pretty far I didn't realize he could throw it that far and also when you go unchained with Dobbin you can never enough throw his dynamite in rapid succession if you take the cooldown even lower like I just did with that upgrade it is absolutely ridiculous which is what we like. The DPS is just insane with Dobbin, I feel. Oh, I'm taking quite a lot of damage from them archers. Hopefully they are all gone. And the next wave will be starting soon. So yeah, on our way back, we'll get some more arrow walls down. You can place your traps from a really long way away which I didn't realize until just then which is always nice right we need to start dwindling their halves down otherwise it's soon going to become far too overwhelming let's use that ability and slow them down are these kobolds? nope but we don't want them here anyway And yeah, just uh, let me know down in the comments section, guys, if you're enjoying my Orcs Must Die series. Say, so I'm enjoying recording it. But yeah, if you'd like any other games, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you in that aspect. What on earth is happening there? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we got more archers. Let's just put some. Let's just fill this area up. I think. I do not want that. Oh, I've deleted that just in time. Let's just fill the floor up full of floor spikes. Vitality Cyclops. That reach is just insane. Let's uh, make sure these kobolds die. Say, so, I really, I'm not a fan of the kobold runners. As you can see, there's just too many of them, and they run far too quick for my liking. But that just could be, personally, I'm not a fan of them. I mean, I've never really been a fan of a quick moving. AI if I'm honest with you. Right, we need to really start dwindling this guy down. As this is going to be a problem. This is what I was saying about the not drawing aggro. Sometimes it can be nice, sometimes it can be annoying. But yes, we did that, in my opinion, very, very well. I don't think I could have done... I could have done a couple of bits better and I think... The reason why I didn't get a 5 star was down to the fact that I stopped and played about for a bit. I believe it was a time penalty because you have to, if you want to get all your 5 stars, you have to reach all the requirements, which we'll go over in a second after it's finished loading up. There we go. Oh, 
All right, so we got another chest. Yeah, it was down to the time. I took two minutes and three seconds longer. But if you want to get a five star, all you need to do is win the match, have 100% of your rift points remaining, and complete it within a set time. Which would have been easy if I wasn't messing about trying to um, dig holes. And yeah, hopefully in a future episode we will be doing a chest opening. As I believe I have a few chests saved up. Yeah, I've got a few saved up. Hopefully by the time we get round to opening them we should have a few more. But for now, that would be everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.